is how we're going to create an amendment for all the CLPs that we have to make. So go to a student that you need to make an amendment for. I'm just clicking on my first student and then go to special ed, IEP details, and then click the most recent thing that you've done for him or that's been done for him and hit add amendment. And you're gonna to have to click okay, verifying that you wanna add the amendment. And then you have to do your description. So I just copy and pasted the wording that Michelle gave us back in August from her document called Special Ed Talking Points. And I just pasted it in there. Um, I put the date that I contacted the parents. For me, that was September 1st. I sent out a mass email. And then you type your name. And hopefully it recognizes you. Then go next. We don't have to create it at a meeting. Um, the only thing you need to click is to add, delete, modify supplementary aid program or support service. It's gonna be at Williamston High or community schools. The date that you're making the amendment defaults to today. Everyone that's present. So I just put Michelle Cook for all of these. Well, for the district rep. And I just selected a gen ed teacher. All right, pick their parents, go next. If they have ancillary staff, you should add them as well. Um, you don't have to change anything on this front page. You don't need to change anything to the goals. But this is where you're going to add your CLP. So, you're going to go to, sorry, I was making sure that I actually did add. Um, click on add. You're going to click on environment, click on contingency learning plan, and then just copy and paste the wording that Michelle gave to you and the location you're going to click throughout the school building. I asked Michelle on that and she said, make sure you click throughout the school building. Hit save. Go to the next slide. 